Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at 40 minutes of gameplay in Lucius. Lucius is a horror puzzle adventure game where you play as a demonic child named Lucius who is sent on a mission from the devil to murder people. Yes, my friends, it is that time of year where horror-related games are released and or start going on sale as we come up to Halloween. Uh, this game was actually released on October the 26th for PC via Steam and Good Old Games. And here in this video, we'll be taking a look at 40 minutes of gameplay of this title. Before we hop into the literal start of the game, though, I do just want to play the introductory trailer for you. So let's take a look at that brief trailer and then hop immediately into the game. And that, my friends, is the story of how Lucius was born. Now, six years later, June 6, 1972, cold as hell. Is that an oxymoron? Isn't hell supposed to be hot? I guess it depends on who you ask. Alright, so here we are six years later, after the birth of Lucius, Lucius the demon child. When he was being born, a pact with the devil was made, and... He was, like, possessed or something? I don't know exactly. A tree, a shadow of a tree hand snuck into the operating room, or I guess the birth room. What do, what, what do they call that room? Conception room? No, that's not it. <laughs> it's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Look at that creepy Very face. Good. That is the face of a devil child. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Yeah, I remember. You didn't get any presents. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than ten. Oh. Yes, Lu ma'am. Lucius will stay up later. He'll stay up later, raining death and destruction. Later that evening. Lots of cinematics, huh? Jeez, I'm crow. The maid was in the kitchen. She was sad because she was old and wrinkly and had no suitor. But she was even sadder because... Lucius was there. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Lucius, the devil child. He sees red when he's being contacted by his real father. El Diablo. This is actually, this is the real Diablo 3. I know some people were disappointed with the actual release of Diablo 3, but this is the real one, so fret not. There he is, there's Diablo himself. Fat faced, big hand, in a suit Diablo. Creepy ass face. They couldn't even get his full face in the frame, is that on purpose? I don't know. Is he pointing? Pointing over there? What's going on? Closing the door, alright. I think he's telling Lucius, you know what you gotta do, door's closed, now is your time. All right, let's actually talk about the game now that we're actually here within the game. I guess we're first going to hit space and get a HUD introduction. Let's do that, huh? HUD introduction. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this was uh, 
Developed by Shiver Games. All right, currently selected skill. That's in that little location right there. There's a detection indicator. Looks like that glows when we were being detected. Current skill level around that pentagram. Is that the name of that? And current power level. All right, so let me give you a little information here about this game before we get too far and too crazy into things. So this is a puzzle adventure game. Now, the what happens in this game is you are set out to kill. You, you live in this mansion, and throughout the course of the game, you are tasked with killing people, such as the maids or members of your own family, in fact. And the goal is to, to do these things without being detected, without anyone thinking that it was actually you who did it. You're supposed to be just this sweet little innocent child, Lucius. And no one suspects Lucius the six-year-old to have murdered somebody, but that is in fact what happens. Lucius the six-year-old murders not only somebody, he murders like everybody. Why do you keep tilting your head? I'm trying to get a good picture and you keep bobbing your head all over the place. All right, let's follow the instructions. So what's gonna happen in this game is I'm gonna walk around as a little old Lucius and I'm gonna be able to interact with things. I can open and close things. I can pick up objects. I've got an inventory. We'll get more information on that as we work our way throughout the game. I can pick up this thing right now and drop it on the ground and say, oh, it's shattered. That is sad. Don't really step on it. I will step on these shattered glass. You know, I can I can interact with actually a fair amount, which is pretty interesting. Um, now we're going to pick up this padlock here. This is our first task. And we can holster and unholster with mouse too. That's going to basically drop it. Now I must open and close the door. Well, guess what? The maid is in the freezer. Why don't we close the freezer door? Why don't we lock the freezer door? Oh, the freezer isn't cold enough, huh? And so the next thing would be, how do we figure out how to make it colder? Oh, a thermostat on the outside. Well, isn't that interesting? Lucius stares at the thermostat, and with his mind powers, makes it colder. Well, he eventually does get mind powers, but not right now. Oh, maid. You look younger here. Kind of cute, but you're going to die anyways, because it is colder inside. I hope you brought your petticoat. Might get a bit nipply. Oh, the door's locked. How sad. You'll never find that gentleman suitor you've been looking for. Cry, maid. Cry. Yes. Indeed. It was Lucius. You know it. You figured it out. But you will not tell anyone, because you will be dead. Oh, sad story. A sad story. The first of many deaths in this mansion by the hand of evil Lucius. Spooky, evil Lucius prepares for bed. I'm gonna narrate this whole thing. La 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 Oh. Oh, hello, crow. I was just singing my song. Would you like to hear? La 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 <laughs> I can't do I can't get over this. Oh, his eyes turn red like this. This game, I, ho I hope you love cinematics in video games, and I hope you don't like actually playing video games, because that's what's going to happen here in Lucius, evidently. It's happened thus far. Crazy lady. She's now frozen in the freezer. That's sad. How? I, isn't there? No, no, no. That is not. You know what? I've worked in the restaurant industry. I used to be a, <clears throat> excuse me, I used to be a bartender before this, before I started doing uh, this whole internet thing full time. And I can tell you from freezers of that nature that there is a release mechanism on the inside. If I put the pieces together. That is all false. This all started Everything that just happened would not have happened. the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness. Although this was back and in the day. there were outward ambitions. And so maybe. histories in that house. Maybe those weren't available then, I don't know. I guess I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene, I can't account for at all. Mm. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source. At the center of it all was the boy. Lucius. So that's the detective uh, recounting his investigation. This is sort of kind of bounces back and forth that he is recalling these events after they happened. That's what he's talking on. So, yeah, here we are, Lucius. Here we are, guys. 
Guess what? We've got some more cinematics for you. We've got plenty of cinematics. Although this one is, uh... No, this one's not even that interactive. No, this one's not. This is... Look at this. I can't even do anything. It's more cinematic. There's fire outside of my house. Why am I not leaving? Oh, because it's the devil's fire. Lucius. Hello. There you are. And here I am. Finally, face to face. Hello. It's Fat okay. face devil. You can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? El Diablo, yes. I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. Okay. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. Sounds but good to me. Oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There, on the desk. Alright, let's see. Pick up the notebook. We're pressing mouse one. Uh, inventory with E. And you then need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Excellent. Okay, so a little information. Uh, this notebook is going to give you information about your targets, basically. The people that you're you're meant to take out. Uh, so you can see housemaid Mary. Mary is cleaning the cooler. I found the padlock on the table. This could be useful. All these things have happened. Mary has frozen to death. I should get the padlock back so no one will suspect it was me. And that's really, that's really the crux of this game. The crux of this game is murder someone. But don't get caught, so cover up your tracks, you know, make sure that there's no evidence that it was the six-year-old. As if people would expect a six-year-old as is. Also within the journal, uh, dialogue that happens between you and Lucifer is taking place. Uh, dialogue in general, evidently. See Nancy Charles, that's my boy, very good, la 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 la. Whole little discussion, and then Lucifer's talking to me and all that stuff. Uh, behavior status, chores to do. That's pretty funny. So there you go, that is our notebook. Holster your notebook with mouse two. A flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Get the flashlight. Ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. And get the batteries as well. And then we open our inventory again with E. Such a bright boy. Put the batteries inside. So this is mouse two, and then go over the flashlight with mouse two. And then now they are filled. There we go. So we've got a flashlight. Now Lucius, you yes. need to do a little something. It is important oh, that look at that! Caught. Look at the horns! The kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer That's cool. Door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius. Nice touch. And hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. Nice touch. And believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. All right. Go now. Get the padlock. Before the adults wake up. Yes, I would love to play this game now and stop, first of all, listening to you talk and listening to stupid cinematics. Play the game. Play the. How long has this video been occurring? How many seconds of that have I played the game? There we go. Waking up. Lucius. Lucius, let's go. Alright, so. Once again. Oh, we can sprint with left shift. That's exciting. Map with M. Let's give us a map of the manor. This is where the game takes place. The game takes place inside of the manor. Uh, and we're going to actually have, whenever you have an objective, it is going to be marked for you. The path will be there. And there's a little smiley face because I love my room so much. This must be mom and dad's room. we got someone else's room over there. What's over here? WC. West. That's the west coast. <laughs> Some lady over there. Someone stabbing something. Got a martini glass right there. There's a star. One plus one. He didn't finish that equation. It equals two, dumbass. You know, if you weren't the son of the devil and you paid attention in school, you might have knew that already. God. All right, so I just want to show you again. There is a fair amount of interactivity within this world. And, you know, that is pretty interesting. Is it enough to save, or is it enough to save this game? Uh, well, after the first 40 minutes, I think you'll be able to tell. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but definitely some uh, some problems here with this game overall. A little, little stuff on the wall, that's pretty cool. I can open up these cabinets, which are awesome. I can, you know, see, I can open up this right here. And sometimes inside, there'll be stuff for me to grab as well. Like, I could grab this ball. I mean, you know, it's pretty cool that I can I can do this stuff. I can interact with a lot of this environment. I can't pick up the clothes, and I like I would do anything with them anyways. I can pick up this right here. Uh, what is this new item? I got something there. Let me actually bring up the inventory to see what this is. 
Empty water bottle. All right, maybe that'll come in use at some point. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? All right, <clears throat> let's go outside. And uh, we can shut off the lights and turn them on. We can also, if we go back in inventory, switch to our flashlight. There we go. And we, can, we holster that with right mouse button. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that door. And let's run. Let's just run down the hall. Whatever. Let me see. Is this door locked or can I? could I go outside? Now the door is locked. So they, they're they going to lock doors to stop you from progressing in certain areas. I'm just going to shut off all these lights. That's pretty cool. And let me hit the map to check right here. Okay, so it looks like we're going left and the stairs are down, <clears throat> down over this way. I'm going to go down here. And so we're just making our way back to the scene of the crime. Uh, the goal right now is to get that padlock. I could, uh, we can s confirm that by opening up our diary here and going to Mary and, yeah, again, let's go down there, go get the padlock. That is my next objective. That is uh, essentially what we're going to get with that there. And right over here, looks like we are going to our left. Through, yeah, through there, and then back through the dining hall. I keep trying to hit E to open the door. I'm so used to that being interact in games. But no, it is, in fact, just a left mouse button. Now let's grab our padlock. She's already dead, so no big deal. Have the padlock. And we just picked up telekinesis. Whenever you complete a murder, you get a ability. Or an upgrade. Telekinesis is our first one. But before that, yeah, that's right, more cinematics. It's my biggest gripe with this game. Initially. Detective McGuffin, what do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-50s. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. You know, I want someone to... time this first, first 40 video and figure out how much actual playtime I have like this happen, detective? compared to cinematic. Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, detective. We'll try our best. Now you can skip these, but I mean, I guess that's the only point of the game. <laughs> and all right, July 12th, 1972, smoking kills. You know, I'm okay. Oh, is there going to be some more uh, cinematic action here? I'm actually going to get to play again. Oh, here we go, back downstairs. Cinematic stuff. Who's this guy? Looks like he likes the likes the drink there. He's a lush. I don't, I'm just I'm making assumptions. That's wrong of me. I'm sorry. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <coughs> <sighs> It's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Gene. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. So, here's what I want to say. And we're going to continue, and I'm going to stop complaining about it after this, but let's first hit the notebook. Uh, we've already, we've taken care of Mary. She's done with. Gene. Father's colleague, Gene. He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate that he smokes in the dining room. Gives me a headache. So apparently since I hate that he smokes, he has to die. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> so I am okay with 
there being different styles of games, and not all games need to be a fully interactive adventure. It doesn't need to be that way. Games can tell a story, and, and it can be, I mean, look at The Walking Dead. That's a series that I did. I think I just need to go back downstairs, yeah. Uh, that's a series that I did that's very little interactivity. Uh, I guess the thing is, though, if, if you're going to have a game that's full-on story and mostly cinematic action and very little actual play or interaction time, it better be really, it better be a darn good story. I suppose for the time of year, this could be an acceptable thing to have uh, because it is, you know, ha Halloween's right around the corner, and if you guys are looking for a spooky story, this may be it. I'm not so spooked so far, though. I'm kind of just creeped out by how stupid this kid looks and the Why animations in this I game. Perform an delicate operation here? Why don't you go downstairs and watch TV or something? <laughs> okay. Got some stuff here on the table. Looks like there's a screwdriver. What is this? A light bulb? That's a light bulb. That's cool. It's a pretty nice detail, though. I mean, it is, it is neat that I'm able to tell that that's a light bulb just by looking at the box, right? I like that. You can open up all these drawers and drawers. The drawers? Drawers! I can shut off the lights. Apparently, he's none the wiser. That is not a big deal for him. The fact that I just shut off the If I were a kid and I just shut off the lights while someone was working on something, I would get hollered at. Oh, that's nice. Disappearing furniture. <laughs> oh boy, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Shiver Games, but I if I see Don't something like that, oh. Mary is now in a much better place, along with her husband. That's nice. Yes, Mary's in a better place, all right. She's in the freezer. Ha ha ha. Yes, of course I'm callous. I'm a devil boy. All right. So let's see down here. I hate that he smokes. Do I have any other indication beyond that? Uh, is there anything? I'm just trying to see here. I hate that he smokes. That's it. Well, let's see what we can do. So, I, so we're given we're given this person, and we have to see. Okay, how am I how am I supposed to kill him? What do I need to do? Okay, what is going on? I've got a headache or something? Okay, there we go. Things turn red, this is usually when the devil shows up, or at least when I'm given a task. Apparently he is my task. I figured that out as much by the fact that his <sighs> name appeared in my notebook. Well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Yeah, that's kind of what happens with children. They kind of grow. Moron. Right, let me go behind him. See, I don't like that he smokes. So How are your lessons going? These, are there smokes over here? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. You can't see me. Smokes. I think the, uh, these are the, what are these? What do we get here? All right. I've stolen Gene's matches. Now only way for him to light his cigarettes is with the oven. I should set up some kind of a trap. The oven has a system that prevents the gas from leaking out. I need a tool of some sort for this. Okay, so have now we. I have not seen your matches. I'm just gonna go over this way. All right, so now we have to find a way to set off the oven, which I believe is right in here. Is there even? So here, yep, okay, so here's the oven. Now, what do I... Gas operated with visible safety system. So I need to find some sort of a tool to... to rig the oven or something. Have you seen my matches? I have not. Have you seen them? I'm not sure what I would look for. Can't pick up anything in any Gosh. of these drawers. What's keeping your father? I need to find some new matches. I can't be messing with the oven. Hmm. Button seems a bit loose. Should probably borrow a screwdriver from the janitor. The screwdriver. That drunk sure. Is okay. Uh, was there? Is there a screwdriver up top? I think there was a screwdriver up top. All right. So, so there you go. I mean, that's, you know, you'll 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 be given these objectives. You'll be given these people to off, and. You're given clues, sometimes subtle, sometimes not so much, uh, as to what you need to do. He specifically mentioned a screwdriver, and I remember oh. seeing... There we go. Is uh, um. I think that's what that is. So let me see if I can just... Go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, got a screwdriver. Let's go. Can't you see I'm performing a delicate operation here? That guy's a drunk. I'm sorry. I misjudged the guy down here. All right, so we got a screwdriver. Now we're going to go to the oven. There we go. I have to pull it out first. And he's going to perform 
Apparently he knows what he's doing with the screwdriver. That's good. Updated it. Gene. The oven is rigged, and Gene does not have a clue. Now all we have to do is wait. What's keeping your father? I need to find some new matches. I can't be messing with the oven each time I need a light. Let's try to hide from him. I don't want him to see me here. Can't crouch or anything like that, no? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely less of a game and more it, more of a... More of somewhat, somewhat of an interactive story, at least interactive at times. Right, I need to see this. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Close the door. Alright, let's see what happens. When, you know, this guy smokes a lot. He just finished his last cigarette already? Dude, you lung cancer. Did you guys not know better back then? No! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, I'm not having a good day. He is not having a good day. Combustible face. Looks like I picked up a power. Something like that. And that's the detective? Yeah. That's who that is. It's my dad or something. Not my real dad. My real dad's the devil. But. Huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Gene was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the lower west wing. His name's McGuffin? <laughs> the, oh man, the investigator's name is McGuffin? Are you kidding me? Alright, here we go. More. I, I just, I can't get into it. I don't know what it is. I am not in... I can't get into this game. I've Hello, not had fun. Here we are again. Hi, devil. You've been doing very well. My, you make me proud. Thanks, creep. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. All right. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Here, let me show you how. All right, let's see. Select telekinesis by pressing 2. Point your mouse cursor and then mouse 1. Excellent. Nice. Okay, you can move the object with your mouse by also now also press and hold both mouse one and mouse two. Very good. Oh, I see. I like moved it. Ah, I see. Now try to move the object to the box. Note while using the power, your power dissipates while using it, yes. Oops, missed the box. So I have to wait for my power to regenerate before I can pick it back up again. And we have to try to get it inside of the box. There we go. Excellent. Now try to move the object to the box. No, yeah, I already did that. Now what? Okay. You can also break items with this skill. Try to break the coffee cup. Very good. Okay, so I guess just focusing on items can break the coffee cup. You can also start machines, try to start the radio. The hell's my radio? No, right there. How far away can I do this? Now you know what to do. Nice. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. Nice. But show no mercy. 
Okay, so we just picked up our first uh, useful skill telekinesis. I know I'd learned that prior, but we just got the tutorial as to how to use it. And uh, now it's time to murder our next victim. It's what we do here in Lucius. August 4th, 1972, Tone Death. So, you've been able to tell the names of these chapters have implications as to how a, a death is about to occur. And I'm going to assume that this has something to do with an electronic or something music related and the fact that it's raining and there's a lot of wetness going on outside. Alright, let's take a look at our journal. Uh, looks like we don't have anything new on the next, uh, the next target. Well, they did talk about the next murder being with the janitor, so probably has to do with him. Let's check our map here. Yep, we're gonna head right down there. Back downstairs. Excuse me, mummy. Did you sleep well? Oh, I slept fine. Just all the people who are dying. They're actually, I guess they are kind of sleeping well. <laughs> they're sleeping well indefinitely. All right, now that we're downstairs, let's take a look here. Lead us back over this way. What is that? WC. What does it even stand for? Is it West Coast? West Coast representing? Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay. Ta-da! There's the janitor. Plunging away. Our next target. Things go red. So this is how your next target's indicated. With this red screen of death and blood. And let's check our notebook. Alright, Ivor. He's always drunk. He probably won't notice if I change his plans a bit. Alright. Let's uh, see what we can interact with in this room. Something will happen in this room. I probably don't want to shut off the lights. Let me check, uh, let's we check his tools here. Got a pencil. <coughs> Adding an entry to his notepad, fixed piano. Well, that's pretty obvious in terms of what I have to do. And... <laughs> Alright, let's go... Let's take a look here. I've stolen a wrench, maybe I should break something with this. I wrote in his journal, fixed piano. What do I do next? Well, there's a piano. Oh, the notebook entry. Oh! I was spotted. What does that mean? I can't move. I can't do a thing. What is... Why? I can't, I cannot do it. I realize I was spotted. Can you, can I please move? Can we, can we progress? Can you restart the checkpoint? Are you going to do anything or am I just stuck here indefinitely? Is this your, is this your idea of punishment? <laughs> right, let's, okay, if we're going to be stuck here, we're at least going to look deeply into his eyes. Oh, hello, Lucius. Lucius, your eyes. Your, your brow is so thick. <laughs> What is happening? Why am I? Don't care. This is so stupid. God damn this game. I get that I was spotted. I would like to progress. I would like to do something new. Maybe this is how they punish you. Maybe they say, you know what? We're not going to give you the easy way out. If you fail, like I just did, I was just spotted. I wasn't taking the time to make sure I went unspotted. We're gonna perpetually leave you stuck in this animation. You have to restart the entire game if you want to play. Like, what the hell's? I, I literally cannot move. I cannot move. I cannot do anything. Let's hit escape. Let's hit resume game. Can I resume the game? Nope. <laughs> Obviously not. So we're gonna hit end, and I guess I'll just. <sighs> this is stupid. This is super stupid. That exceeds normal stupid for those of you keeping track at home. Can't do a thing because I was spotted. Woo! Hit numbers, hit F keys, nothing. Probably control alt delete. Let me just, all right, so I'm just gonna end this. And then I guess resume game? Fucking no. All right, so I guess we can resume the game. Where is it gonna leave me stuck in that position? How hilarious would that be? All right, so we're up here. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back. That That is a huge fail. Me getting spotted bugs the game out. Okay. Well, at least I know to be more careful to not get spotted. This game has been such a, a you know, just, it's... 
<sighs> Before that whole fiasco that just occurred, let me just briefly talk about what I wanted to, because I've got a legitimate gripe with this game. Not that I, not that I, uh, you know, the storytelling is is fine, but like the, my only gameplay instances are so just mind-numbingly easy. And I guess the other thing too is it's not. It's not even like it's a good story, and I hate to, you know, these guys who made this game, they, I'm sure they worked really hard on everything, but it's not very engaging. It's just like, kill this guy, kill this guy, kill this guy, kill this, like that's, that's it just one after the other after the other, I just keep killing these people. Whereas you, you take a look at something else, because people will hear this complaint about me talking about lack of gameplay, like all cinematic action and that's it. That is fine if it's if it's an engrossing, engaging experience, but this is not that, and that's the problem. It is okay if you. So I just gotta make sure. I guess Miss Lady here leaves the room, and no one can spot me. My spotometer is off. Um, like, if you have a really deep story that you can connect with, then not having a lot of gameplay and just having it be a interactive story that is cool. I am cool with that, but. This is just off this guy, then off that guy, then off that guy, and that's it. Like, that is all this game is. So far, at least, you know? And I don't see the story getting any more engaging anytime soon. I don't think things are going to change drastically after the first 40 minutes. They could. They certainly could. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, I should, should get him here somehow. Uh, I just broke the piano, and I guess he just decided to show up, which is good for me. So there he goes. Thanks for fixing the piano. Goddamn pedal's always loose. Can I... I can interact with a couple of things. Notebook is updated. Maybe I can use some of my new abilities now. Oh, there we go. Let's make it more obvious. All right, here we go. Gonna use my telekinesis. I guess I'll wait for my powers low. Why is that? Is it because I'm spotted or something? Am I not far enough away? Do I need to be in the dark? Should I shut off the lights? and shut off the lights. Maybe that'll make a difference. Here we go. I wasn't standing in that spot, but that's okay. What's happening? <laughs> oh, watch out. Watch out, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Skull crushing. That is, that is horrendous. Oh my lord, I did not want to see that. Okay, there we go. Next target dead. And then what's gonna happen? The detective's gonna come, he's gonna say, This is strange, and then I'm I gonna get- I hate to tell you this, Mr. Wagner, but it seems your handyman was drunk as a skunk. He was an accident waiting to happen. I was going to fire him after the other incidents, but I just didn't have the heart. It's hard enough to keep the staff here with recent events. You can't blame yourself. This might be the worst case of professional neglect I've ever come across. While this might explain the gas leak, it still doesn't explain the death in the walk-in cooler. The autopsy on the maid was inconclusive, but we're still working on the theory she had a poor heart or circulation problems and fainted. I mean, you know, cutting edge. I'm gonna cut someone now. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really thought that this was a cool premise. I really wanted to like this game. The story is just not engrossing to me, you know, and people are different. Maybe you've really enjoyed the story so far and you thought that this is engaging. And in which case, I would, I would suggest getting the game because if you like the story, then having very limited gameplay parts that are incredibly easy and smacking you in the face obvious in terms of what you need to do, cutting edge, that's the name of this chapter. I will cut somebody. They, something sharp will be used in the next death. Like, And you just gotta run around the room that your target is in, picking stuff up until you find what it is. It's gonna update your notebook, which pretty much tells you exactly what to do. 
So the gameplay part is very simplistic, uh, very basic, and almost non-existent, really. And so then it then it relies on the story. If you have, you know, if you have a game with little little gameplay, then it's considered, in my eyes, just an interactive story. And while that's okay, it's only okay if the story's good. And I, I, I can't say that I think this is good. But again, you know, that is my personal opinion. And I will give you that, and if you agree with my opinion, then great. If not, that's fine too. Get this game, awesome. Glad you like it. I always want to support developers. I just can't say that I enjoy every game, because I don't enjoy every game, and I certainly don't enjoy this. Uh, and I think with that, we're going to wrap up this video. This has been a look at the first 40 minutes of Lucius, a horror puzzle adventure game where you play as the demonic child Lucius, set on a path of destruction from the devil. Now i got to cut somebody. I have to go to a lawnmower or something. Game is fully priced $25 or $24.99. With a current 15% discount, you can pick it up for $21.24 on the penny. And, yeah... If you like this story, great. Uh, if you're looking for a scary game, I don't think this is it. I think there's lots of other... Look, Amnesia Dark Descent. There you go. Play that if you haven't. I haven't played that yet. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, though. And maybe I'll play it for Halloween. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the meat locker. Oh, this is going to be horrendous. This poor guy. Oh, boy. This poor guy. This poor guy. <laughs> uh, I don't like... Ah, uh, I don't like I, this. Makes me squeamish. Saws and cutting and all that stuff. This is hor this is horrible. This is horrible. Can I pick up anything? Can I just take the cleaver from his hand? And Hello, chop him. Hello, Lucius. Hello, Lucius. Jed. He's working here with raw meat. I should try to find a way to mess with him. Hello, Lucius. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you were to shut off the. Uh, if you were to shut off the, the, the thermostat, something would happen. I could throw a box at his face. Woo! <laughs> I was given a chore. I don't know what the frick's going on. This video's over. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. As gruesome as this death probably will be, if you really want to see it, you're going to have to uh, get the game yourself. Can I unplug that or something? What was my chore? What was, what was going on over here? Can I walk back here? No, I cannot. You're not going to let me do it because damn meat carcasses in my face. I mean, this is kind of gross. You got to be honest with you. There's a lot of pigs to have in your thing here. And he just he's infinitely chopping up a slab of meat. That's the most hilarious part. Probably going to lose a finger. I got some chores here. I don't know what that said. Chores. Whatever. That's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this first 40 more than I did. If you like the content, please subscribe, and as always, keep watching and keep owning. Can I go outside? Yes! Woo! Look at me running around the mansion! I am Lucius Devil Child! Hello, lady. Oh, that's a man. Lucius, bad boy.